This Tidewater Community College Veterans Affairs Office, may I help you? I'm very grateful to the supervisors who put me in for this Obviously, award. It's something I wasn't losses. expecting. I love to work. I like to help people. I like to make things better. I notice you're in uniform. Are you still active duty? Or... Anytime you're dealing with military veterans and their dependents, a great sense of empathy is crucial. We want to make sure that you all use your benefits. You earned them. They want to sit down and talk to you because you're something that's comfortable to them. They know they're walking into a center that's military friendly. I work very closely with the work studies. I verified he was in the state. Training them on a constant basis. You can empathize with what they're going through. That just makes that relationship you have with the veteran that much stronger. You need to have that relationship in a military atmosphere. That way they can understand you. Okay. The idea behind streamlining our processes was to make it easier for the veterans to use them. If there's anything about military people, they like checklists. Anytime that you can modify something to make it easier for the person to understand, you do it. Chapter 30 pays you directly a stipend. You start discussing their veterans' benefits. You start discussing what their educational goals are. If you decide you want to go into healthcare. If you are not targeted with what you're trying to do, you can waste those benefits. We have to have a good representation to tell people this is where you need to go in order to seek those veterans' benefits. When you apply for your benefits, there's two crucial things. We're processing applications. We're sending enrollments up to the VA so the veterans can get paid. What they do, you can't measure it. And I'll always want to help them. Whatever we can do to support them is our job.